Hello survivors and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all enjoying the excellent adventures event. We are having a blast. But today we're going to be showing you how to make a bathroom in Ark Survival Evolved. It's something we do like to do at our bases and I've added a couple of extra bits into this one. So I hope you go on to enjoy it. We are also doing another giveaway with this video. Pay close attention during the video. You will see a pin code pop up somewhere in there and you will need that pin code to unlock the box that has the goodies in it. So if you stay tuned till the end of the video, you'll see more details on what is in the box and the location. So without further ado, let's get on to building this bathroom. If you go on to enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. We've got loads of arc on here and so much more to come. Right, let's go. Right, so first things first, I'm going to need a scaffold in here. This will be taken down later. This is just for me to jump up to be able to line up my water pipe for my shower because I want the water to be flowing sort of away from the glass on this side here, down there. So now I'm going to put down the, sh the back of the shower, which I'm going to be using a gravestone for. So I want that around here. And then I want the pipe to be coming up through it and like the water to be coming down. So this is where I'm going to want my bathtub, which we're going to be using a trough for, a feed-in trough. So yeah, I think that'll work. So let's go and put the pipe down. Just jump on my scaffolding. It's the only thing I could think to do, to be honest with you, because I'm not using a tech suit or anything. So yeah, let's put the pipe down there. Attach the tap. And then once this is connected, the water should be flowing out towards me now, see? Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. So that'll be my shower. And now I need to pop the bathtub down. So I'm just going to line it up. It's uh, in the same room, I've just sort of sectioned it off, but it's the same room as the bed was in, so there's just triangle floors everywhere, so it's really hard to, you can't use a ladder to line things up, so I'm going to have to do it all by eye. But the ideal thing is that even on official servers, the trough meshes into the gravestone, and I like that, that's really good. The gravestones are actually really, really good. There was somebody that commented on the last video of the bed actually that said you could use gravestones as bed heads and I never even thought about that so we might try that next time we make a bed but yeah there is the shower come bath I'm happy with that oh yes I think I'll enjoy having shower in there I'm sure the dino lord will too okay cool right now where do I want my toilet so this looks like a good place. I'll pop my intersection water pipe down there and then a gravestone. I'd like a gravestone as the backing for the toilet so it's like in keeping with the theme of the, the shower. There we go. Put the toilet down there. The toilet will snap to the end of your pipe and voila. And once that's plumbed in you'll be able to use the toilet and flush it and everything. I'm going to have to plumb it in without making too much of a mess with the pipe work. And now we just need a double sink. But first, let's pop this rug down so that we've got like a bath mat. I think that looks about right. Let's have a look. Yeah! Okay, it's coming along. If you guys have any other ideas, by the way, of things that you've used for bathrooms in the past, please let me know in the comments. Things that we can do on official, though, because we are quite limited on here. Right, so I want my pipe here. Now, with this pipe... I'm going to be having a stone tap, so the taps will run out of either side, so it doesn't matter that this is facing, you know, away from me. So, like, if I was to use a, a metal pipe, a metal tap, sorry, it would flow out the back of the building. So it's not going to matter too much because I'm going to be using the stone one because I want uh, a double sink, so I would like the water flowing out from both sides. So I want mirrors behind, I want a table and some mirrors so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that they would place over the wood because sometimes they snap to behind it. They want to snap to the um, the stone underneath, you know. Right, so that'll do it there. Now I want the table. About here. And you'll notice I've done it slightly off to one side. Uh, that's just because of the spacing with the... Um, from the toilet and stuff, I just preferred it here. And once the mirrors are up, hopefully you won't be able to see that line on the stone, the back of the stone wall. So will this snap to the front? And let's just pick up this pipe. It did it earlier, there we go. But it's only when you get down to a certain level, so there would do it. Right, let's put the pipe back down. But the annoying thing is you don't want the pipe to be 
it snaps high sometimes when it looks like it's low. Otherwise, you'll have a tap all the way up in the air. This will do it. Yeah, and the next one. Oh, damn. I don't want them crossing over the actual mirror bit, you see. So I'm going to have to hang this over the edge of the table slightly. Just a slight bit over on the right of the table. The worst thing is getting this, the snapping correct because it wants to snap onto the stone wall at the back and then it'll be only partially visible. But I think I've got it right. Let's bring this one out here. There we go. And then I've got like the metal hinges, not hinges, but like the metal decorative bits next to each other. That's perfect. That'll do me fine. Now I've got to try and snap this water pipe to a low position in the centre of the table somehow. And they always, I don't know if you find this, they, they tend to snap high and then you, you'll have a tap in the middle of the air and I don't want that. We're going to have to remove the table. We're going to have to demolish the table because the water pipe needs to be put down first in order to it, for it to snap low and as far back as I would like. That should do. Okay, great. That's where I want it. Perfect. Now I can get the table put back. Just try and line that up with the floor. This is quite difficult on official servers because it does lag. Depending on which server you're on, we're quite, on quite a busy server here. And uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of lag. So it does interfere with the building sometimes. Right, let's go. Yeah! Okay, so now we've got our mirrors, we've got our table, and we've got our pipe for our tap. Now we just need to put the tap on it. And once that's all plumbed in, the water will flow out of both sides. So the left and the right, not the front and the back. There we go. I'm happy with that. So I'm plumbing it in using a lot of flexi pipes and it is a little bit messy, as you can see. It's not um, as tidy as I would have liked. There's a couple of pipes sort of sticking down there, look. But it's the best I can do. So uh, you can't really notice as you're at the bottom of the building um, and then as you're coming up the stairs, you don't really notice it too much. So it isn't too bad, but I would have liked it um, a little bit tidier. But what can you do? What can you do? Now let's try and get some water to this tap. Uh, the shower, I should say. Oh, that's quite a tidy one. Yes! Okay, we have water. Right, so let's get some sinks down. We're going to use mortar and pestles for the sinks. And I'm happy with that. It looks like the water's flowing into it. And now we want the other one just on the other side here. Yeah! And now we have a double sink. There we go. Right, let's add the bathroom cupboard. So we're going to use a preserving bin for this. I think that will do it there. Yes, I'm happy with that. Okay, now for the plants. So I think I'm going to put a citronol one here next to the toilet. I think that will add a bit of colour as well to the place with the with it having yellow on the green as well. I think about here we'll do it. Yeah, and just looking at the place now, I think that's the only place I'll actually want a plant in here. Because I'll probably put one on the other side of the glass, sort of, in the other room. Now let's put some vessels down to make it look a bit prettier. And obviously put the citronol seeds and the fertiliser in too. I'm also going to put wood railings on top of the glass walls and a door here. And then we'll come back once the plant's grown and see how it looks. Okay, it's all done. Let's take a look around. And that is our bathroom. So I hope you liked it. If you have any other tips or tricks or anything on different items you can use for different things or things you can put on top of other things, which is what I like to try playing about with, let me know in the comments below. And now let's go into the details of the giveaway. Okay, so for those of you who have stayed for the giveaway, it will be on our Valguero server, which is 1101. 
and the location is 52.5, 63.8 and you can see my arrow there, we're on the right page of the map uh, down in the middle, near the middle area. We're at a small castle which is surrounding a pond and if you do manage to be the one to get here, this is what you will find, there'll be a box here just give you a bit of a wider view so you get a bit of a better idea and you'll need a pin code that was shown somewhere in the video and with that pin code you'll be able to access that box but let's have a look at what's inside so there's a mating pair of tron coloured snow owls each with 2700 stamina a void worm a joker coloured maywing these two little cuties so we got a shine horn and a giant queen bee and these two giga eggs. So they're a male and a female as well. I'll just show you in the incubator now their level and stat points. So good luck if you decide to enter the giveaway and thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already we have got so much art on here and we have got so much more to come i hope you all are having a fantastic excellent adventures have a great day guys take care